guys welcome back to my channel this is creativity and inspiration and I'm Lisa if you're new welcome we are so happy you are here and if you're back again thank you it is much appreciated before we get started hit that subscribe button hit that little bell there is a lot coming your way this year and you don't want to miss out today we are doing something really cool today we're doing something special we're gonna DIY these boring white pillar candles into unique pieces of art for your home. So let's just get started because this is so much fun. I have four plain white pillar candles. They're on the small side. These are two by threes. And for all of these, I would recommend getting three sizes, the small size, a medium size, and a large size. Because remember, Groups of three are more aesthetically pleasing to the eye and the brain just when you're talking about decor, it just likes groups of three. So these are our candles. I got them from Amazon. I'll link them down below. They're the perfect size for me to give you the inspiration for this idea. Okay, so there's four and we're going to do four different ones. The way you're going to create art with the first plain pillar candle is by using either a ribbon or paper. And I'll show you both ways. I have just a pack of scrapbook paper here that I have had for quite a while. And I am looking for... Now first, I'm going to use this piece of paper, but I'm only using the top green part, not this, this part. So I'm going to get my paper from up here. And I'm choosing this because it looks like grass. And I don't want it too thick, too fat to wrap around my candle because these candles are not very big. And of course, feel free to um, cut with your paper cutters. I'm just giving you the inspiration, so I'm just going to do this this way. Okay. okay. So you cut a piece of paper that will wrap around your candle, and you will tape it around and then trim off the extra. So you will either need hot glue for this or double-sided tape. I'm going to use double-sided tape and I'm going to put it on one side. Let's see here. Okay. I'm going to put it on this side. And I'm going to trim it so it fits exactly. So I have my double-sided tape. Then I'm going to it right there because I, I like that as the back of the candle because the wick is pointing away and so I'm gonna take the wrap off the tape and then I'm going to pull it super tight and there we go if you wanted to you could just put another piece of tape there but I'm just gonna cut this down all right So there is the paper wrap. Now I want to make this flowered. I made this little spiral flower which I will attach to my grass because I think that looks like grass. So what I'm going to do is get a piece of my tape and attach it to my spiral flower so I can just stick it on and again you can hot glue hot glue would probably be easier okay and there it is with my flower now I'm going to take one of my tickets that I altered earlier okay I got one of the tickets that I've stamped and inked earlier and I'm going to attach it like that and how cute and of course you would do it with whatever theme you're doing. If you're doing a spring a centerpiece, 
if you're doing something for maybe a spring wedding or a baby shower, then you would do appropriate colors. If you were doing for a backyard barbecue, it would look really cute to put make the paper red and white. Check and do something along a barbecue theme with the rest of it. So use your imagination to create yours, but this is mine for spring and I love it. Now, another way to do this is to use the same ideology of wrapping and everything, only instead of wrapping with paper, wrap with burlap. Wrap with burlap, then do the same thing, attach it around and then attach your decor to the front of it. And you would cut this down to fit a little better, but you could attach your decor to the front of it and that would look good as well. Our next way we're gonna transform this plain white pillar candle into a unique piece of art for your home is we are going to take a napkin, cut out a couple of our butterflies and decoupage them on, but we're not gonna be using glue. We are just gonna use a heat gun and the wax of the candle itself. So all I'm doing is tearing my napkin into the layers because I just need that layer with the images on it. Okay. So I have the layer with just the images and I'm gonna cut out an image or two. My candle is small, so I'm gonna have to go in for the smaller, the smaller butterflies here. And all you do to do this, it's super simple, is you take your napkin piece, it's just the single layer, you wrap it around, you get your heat gun, and just heat up your candle so the wax starts to melt. Oh, that was anticlimactic to say the least. It's not plugged in. And then you just whoops, hold it and then just heat it. And it's starting to melt. You just roll it around and see it just goes on so simple. If you don't have a heat gun, just use a hair dryer. There you go. It is that easy to decoupage onto a pillar candle. Candle. How pretty. No glue, just the wax of the candle itself. Okay. Now, for our next way to do our candle, we are going to, oops, I'm gonna move these out of the way, but I knocked that off. You would glue that down, I just didn't do it yet. Okay, the next way we're gonna do our candle is with our inks. 
I'm going to use the original box as my little pouring tray. And I have the plastic underneath it. And I have three ink colors here. I have, and these are alcohol inks. Let me see my colors. They're kind of springy. They're sunshine yellow, purple twilight, and sunset orange. So think of the night sky with oranges, the golds, the yellows, the purples. That's what these are. And so let's just do a little orange, a little yellow, and all you do is drip it down to where it runs down the center and you might have to turn it on its edge some too and that's fine and I'm gonna turn it around some and kind of lean it this time so I get it more on the edge then I'm gonna come in with my purple It does stink, so you want to make sure if you have asthma or something that, you know, it's you're in a well-ventilated area. Whoops. Make sure you point the bottle the right direction. And just keep layering it up until you get the colors you want. Sorry. And I'm just kind of rotating it in dropping more color on it as I go and try not to get it on my hands but if I do it's fine remember they're alcohol inks so they do smell but the cool thing is after um, after they dry the alcohol is all gone okay so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to let this dry now but look how pretty it came out and that's just me sitting here squirting inks into my box it's a good thing i had the uh, plastic under it because it is leaking so just so you know and as soon as it dries the alcohol smell will go away just fyi and it will go off your hands too but that's why it stinks because they are alcohol inks and you smell basically rubbing alcohol I love how that turned out I love the colors we have a lot of pre sets here so that's exciting just watch when you shoot it because I kind of shot off into space a little bit but that's okay okay so we're gonna move this one out of the way while it dries Uh oh Okay, so we're going to move this out of the way, and for our next and last candle, and this is going to be my favorite one, I think. This is going to be the Birch Branch candle, and this one is super fun and super easy to do. What you do is, believe it or not, you take a pencil and literally draw in the whatever you want and in this case I want it to be just some little lines like a birch branch so I'll come in and I will just press in and I want them kind of deep so I will go over them several times to get them a depth because what we're going to do is once we get all of our lines in we're going to come back and hit them with some water base acrylic paints now it has to be water-based acrylic paints if you're going to burn them if you're not going to burn them it can be regular acrylic paints acrylic paints not oils <clears throat> so make sure you hear that not oils acrylic paints but all I'm doing with my pencil is kind of carving in the lines that make up a birch a birch branch And you just go over them until you get them the necessary depth. Now, I, I don't know. Can you see those? You got some lines. You got some divots. Because a branch is wood. And it's got those inconsistencies. Now, I'm going to do the other side real quick. And if you have a friend that just moved into an apartment or a new home... These make great um, gifts if you know their style. 
Okay, so we got it all etched in. You can see all the etching. Now I'm going to hit it with my brown acrylic paint. I have a very tiny paintbrush. And I have brown paint. I'm not going to burn mine, so... Let's see here. But this is Nutmeg Brown. This is fast drying, water based, non toxic. So if I did decide to burn this candle, if I did decide to burn this candle, I could. And you will find the water based and everything on the back of the label. Okay, I'm just going going to dip in my lid just the tip of my brush. Then I'm going to come over to one of my etches and just kind of feel it in. And the wax, when I was um, dragging my pencil through it to create the birch lines, it would knock out little chunks like knots too. So that was like a happy accident, really. And you can make some dark, some light. Because the trees are, you know, they're nature and they're all different. Now if you want to smudge it a little bit so the white candle looks a little more like dirty, like a tree, definitely you could. You could also take another brush and just kind of dry brush just very lightly some brown all around the candle. Just to make it look like more realistic. That would be totally up to you. Okay, and there is our birch branch candle. How cool is that? So guys, I hope you enjoy turning these boring white pillar candles into very unique works of art for your home decor. It's a DIY that's super simple that you don't have to be super creative to do it. It just takes a little bit of time and you get amazing results as you've seen. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment down below which candle was your favorite. The paper, the decoupage, the ink or the birch limb so guys don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell because there's a lot more coming your way with diys paper crafting and just whatever else we can dream up here at creativity and inspiration take care have an awesome day and i'll see you next time bye